Good morning guys, welcome to Live Discover channel. Right now we are in Kuala Lumpur and we want to answer the question how expensive is Kuala Lumpur? We're going to put our self budget, $10 for Julia and $10 for me and we will try to see how many things possible to get done only for this budget. Just find an um, exchange office. It's just a regular exchange office on the side of the road. I will show you guys the prices. Currently, the US dollar is 4.1. I don't know if you can see. That means $10. We will have 4 to 1 ringgit to finish the day and see how much we can get done and how many different foods we can try for only 4 to 1 ringgit. our first shopping we're in 7-eleven i'm just gonna grab a big bottle of water because it's hot and then we will go check out the first attraction of the day we're going across the street to central market and we see a kitten so Julia is coming to check it out it's so tiny we play with it for a while and now we're crossing the street to the central market. This is this is not really our type of attraction. We don't really enjoy this kind of stuff much. But I'm just we're just gonna pass by quickly. It's free entrance and tell you about tell you more information about it because it's quite a popular attraction in Kuala Lumpur. Before we come here, when we research it said like it's mostly art shops. Although there are some art shops here. I think the majority of them are like souvenir shops and food food shop, but still you can find um, some interesting stuff to buy before you go back home. But if you're planning to come here specifically for art, I don't think there is that much shops with art to call it art place. There are some cupboards. Mm -hmm. Are they handmade? Probably. Somewhere, as far as I understand, when we entered the main building, it was mostly souvenir shops. But at the end of it, when we come out, there's like a little street here, and it's mostly paintings and everything. So, if you're interested in the art section, you can check the back side. And also, there is a side road next to the building. We we're just going to explore that as well. We can just quickly explore the central market it's not a big place the main building has like little souvenirs that you can buy um, and behind it there is like small section with the painting and on the side of the building there is more like small market where you can buy t-shirts and bags and shoes and this kind of stuff as a summary this is a free entrance attraction you can come out check out and make some shopping, yeah, make some shopping if you want to buy something and then continue the day and then we'll continue the park which will be the second attraction of the day. here right now where we're gonna enter our plan is to go from here all the way down and then from there we will go to KL Central to get a train to Batu Caves so without further ado let's go in and start checking the park found some interesting trees look like bamboo in down but on the top it's like palm tree leaves beautiful park but there is no sign anywhere there's no map anywhere it's ridiculous we've been trying to find that apparently there is a deer park here that is the main reason why we came here to feed deers or at least spend some time with them but we cannot find it it's a massive park we've been walking around 
but still looking for it. Fingers crossed, hopefully we'll find it soon because it's hot, the day, the time is moving and we still got lots of things to do. So hopefully we'll find it soon. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the dare park, but instead we find Planetarium. It says the gallery is free entrance, so we're going to check it out. Okay, now in this heat, all the stairs wasn't so fun. I hope it's worth it. Like JJ's first time in Planetarium, that's why we decided to go. How was your first impression? It's very cold. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I enjoy amazing. the temperature, you don't? Yeah, it's After amazing. the heat. It's amazing. <laughs> cool. You need to demonstrate this for us properly. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> is this really how the astronaut sits down? It doesn't look comfortable to me one bit. Your feet will go to here, here. Here is my side. Yes. Yes, ready to go to moon? <laughs> ready to go to moon, baby? I want to try as well. So I'm going here. Even tighter place than you. Why? Well, same thing, no? I think I will be locked here if I get in. I will not be able to get out. <laughs> Come on, get out. Come on, don't do this. Can, can you reach the thing? Yes. Let's fly. Woohoo! I made that. Okay. How are we going to get out now? We just live in the planetarium. The gallery was interesting. There was lots of weird items. But, like microwave? Yeah, there was microwave and everything and the things were broken, half of the things. But it's still okay. And it's we, free as well. One yeah, more it was free. There was a um, space pot that you could have do, but it was 24 ringgit. So it was out of our budget. That's why we didn't do. And there was a show that was interesting. Actually, we would have liked to do it, but it was at 11. And it's, we already have, like, there is another half an hour that we needed to wait. That's why we didn't want to waste the time. So now, we are going to KL Central to get the train to the most famous attraction in Kuala Lumpur, which is Batu Cave. We just come to a new central shopping center and we're gonna grab something to eat. The reason why we choose here because it's right next to KL Central and from there we're gonna get a train to cut our two caves right after we eat. come to KL Central right now. We're taking the KTM commuter and we're gonna to go to Batu Caves. Just 
come to the entrance of the Batu Cave. Now we've got a long way to climb. Are you ready to climb, baby? Yes. Let's go. It's gonna be so hard. like the guardians for the people who's passing by. We just come into the Batu Caves and the temperature here is way cooler than outside. And also I really enjoy the limestones here. Everything is hanging down and it looks really nice. Now we're gonna go deeper inside to check out the Hindi temples that are inside. What do you think about it, baby? It's different from what I was expecting. I was thinking that it's going to be like a small cave and you come inside, but this looks like a huge room. And now we're going to the second section and it's also done half of a top bit, so it's just open. Just finished checking the caves. It wasn't too big. There is one big room section and then another smaller one. So now we're gonna go head down and catch the train back to the city. We are back to city center right now and we're feeling a bit tired. We've been going around all day. So now we're gonna go and grab a coffee and then go and visit the Chinatown. Chinatown, we see there's a preparation here going on. So, I don't know, I guess they're gonna do some sort of dance. So, we're gonna wait to check it out. It seems like it's gonna take time for them to start the dance show, that's why we started to walk around in um, Chinatown to check it out. But honestly, we were just discussing that Chinatown seems like India town, there's everywhere. And the in India is just they selling watch, they selling bags, shoes, but the all the shop owners are um, Indian, so I don't know why it's called Chinatown. The only thing that is like Chinatown is like the thing here and the stage, the dance shows were Chinese style. But I don't know, we're just entering the street. We will see and I will share with you guys. around Chinatown there is not much stuff to do it's like, it's like most of the shops are repeating the same thing the bags and the t-shirts and watches so now and we was we came to check again if the dance show starts but it didn't so now we're going to Twin Towers that's so right now we are heading towards the metro and we will go with the metro a little bit much more quicker just a bit more expensive but it's okay we doing pretty well with the money and probably this will be the last attraction so it's not probably spent last minute money for a luxury transportation we just arrived it and by the time we arrive it's nearly night falls luckily this camera is good enough for the Nighttime recording. Now, here as you can see, it's one of them towers. We're gonna get a better angle and share it with you guys. Just checking out the lights and we're going for the distance for a bigger picture as you can see the towers are behind me um, so we're not going to go all the way up because it's pretty expensive
watching the Fontaine show. The first one finished, now it's the second one on. How are we gonna end the day? We are tired, we've been traveling all day, and we're gonna go home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we still have money, but uh, because we feel tired, now it's time to go home. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, and if you won't have any more questions, write it down in the comment section, and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1,000 people, so show me some love, and hope to see you in the next video. Take care.